Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Rule 16. I am your host Jivon, and today we're about for brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out Call of Duty World War II for the PC. Today running this on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the Intel HD 4600 integrated graphics. They're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM and dual channel memory and boy oh boy did I drop everything to the lowest here. So I have the display resolution at 720 by 480 and I have 10% of the rendering resolution. Drops it all the way down to 228 by 152 and we have everything basically on the lowest settings. My Wait God! Hit Paris. Seems like a long way. This off. is the only way I could get this way, get this game playable, man. I, I, it was crazy. It was crazy to me. I just, I just kept going. Remember, no digging in at the shore. Gotta advance. I'm using over nine Stay gigs low. of RAM right now. Do not bunch up. Stick to your training. You're gonna make it through. I'm using nine gigs of RAM. You fellas in the battle. Anytime, anywhere. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. You know me, testing out games, just trying to see if we can get them playable on this system. I don't know how it's going to work when we get onto Norman the Beach. It's going to be probably really rough. But I do have the RAM and I do have the CPU horsepower to handle some of it. Which is what I'm counting on. I was actually booting it up. Oh damn. Here we go. I was booting it earlier and I was there like what's going on only to realize that I had my uh, power limit very low so it was giving me the frames I needed. I increased it now. I don't think increasing it any further will give me any more so let's see what happens. to that frame rate yeah we ain't getting 30 fps guys you know we're not going to keep that in there we're not going to keep that once we get out there but once again i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to please leave a like comment share subscribe and stick around for more epic content if you guys like seeing me test games on the integrated graphics the intel hd 4600 definitely leave a comment down below it helps me out on the channel man and uh, this one is definitely great simply because of the yeah, this one really helps me simply because I changed it the setting. Because I, I boost my power limit. Definitely helped me out. Oh. I think the audio is going to be messed up because of the low frame rate, but hey. I remember testing this on a 620 before. I wanted to single channel around. It was a nightmare. I think dual channel makes this way more playable. Okay, we're, okay, so the first worst part of the game I actually have some control. I can't see anything, but holy crap, it's actually maintaining 30 FPS. That's actually kind of shocking to me. Take the Bangalore and get to the seawall! We have a clear path to the bunker! I'm getting over 30 FPS. Daniels! This is what you trained for! Now pick up that banger! Is it really though? My 30 FPS tells me differently. You can do this! Yes, sir! Dude, I gotta remember oh, to put geez. this up next time. I dropped the ball with this crap. We're not having a higher power limit. My gosh, we're getting over 40 FPS. Oh right, my gosh! What have I been doing all my life? Why didn't I do this beforehand? Ow. Ow. Thank you. Hey, mid it. That was rough. Dude, this is running at 60 FPS at some point. I was shocked to even get 30 FPS. I'm telling you, definitely increasing my power limit, the amount of what I just was using, definitely helped me out just now. Now this is amazing. I don't even, I, now that I, 
now that I'm seeing this, I probably didn't even need to go this low. But hey, better safe than sorry. Yeah, what I like about it is there's no stutter. It's still playing incredibly smooth. How dare you? Yo, y'all got any health packs? Y'all got any of those, what you call them, health packs? Those? Give me a grease gun. Much, much easier to use there. Considering I don't. That wound looks bad. Here, take this. Thanks, Thank bud. you. Now I feel better. All right, here we go. Here you have it, guys. On the Intel HD 4600, Call of Duty World War II runs. Without any issues, apparently. Like I said, we could go higher, but we can go higher reses, but why? We don't need to at this moment. This has been quite shocking for me. <laughs> I expected just to get this video done and move on with my day. I didn't expect this type of frame rate and this smooth gameplay. Oh snap! He's almost left me speechless, man. Ain't nothing left. The ram definitely helps. Definitely helps. And once again, there is no stutter. So this is playable on the 4600. Holy crap, we're even hitting 60 at certain points. Dude, this is insane to me. But I'll see you guys next time.